Hi there, thank you for tuning in to Monoprice.com on our YouTube channel. My name is Sean Blatherwick of the Monoprice Tech Support Team. Today we're going to show you how to extend your motion tracking sensor for your game console using Monoprice PID 6149 and PID 2779. The Kinect Video Sensor is a cool sensing device to help you interact with your video games. You can jump, move, dance, run, exercise, and all other activities depending on the mood of your video game. This makes the feeling of the game cooler and not necessarily stuck with one controller like the old video games. Sometimes it's necessary to extend that cable that connects your sensor device to your game console. To extend the motion tracking sensor, you will need some extension cables. Let's see what we need to extend the motion tracking sensor and how to do it. Now I'm going to show you how to connect your active USB cable to your Kinect controller. First step, take it out of the package. Next step, go ahead and connect it to your Kinect controller. Now in order for this active USB cable to work, you're going to have to have the power supply plugged in for the existing cable or this will not work. So you go ahead and take your active USB cable, plug one side into the Kinect controller. The other side is going to go into the USB port of the Xbox. Now it doesn't matter which one you use, but for this sake I'm just going to go ahead and plug it into the front. Now that I've gotten it in, you notice on the screen, it'll pop up. Go ahead and wave your hand. I should go ahead and take you right to the screen. Once you see yourself in the right hand corner, you know you've got it connected. To find these products on the web, go to www.monoprice.com. Click on the search bar and enter product ID number 6149 and product ID number 2779. If you need help or have any questions, feel free to contact Monoprice Tech Support Team via the live chat at monoprice.com. Also, don't forget to visit our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Once again, my name is Sean Blatherwick, and I hope this tutorial will be helpful. Thank you for watching it, and don't forget to stay tuned for more video tutorials. See you guys next time.